Hey guys, this is Airbusman5514, um, and I figured I would show you how to create a splash screen for Flight Simulator. So first what we're going to do is get paint.net, uh, it's freeware, um, I'll wait for you, so uh, go ahead and uh, if you need to, pause this video. Um, and while I'm saying this, feel free to pause any time if I'm going too fast, because it's likely that I probably will be. So first what we're going to do is we are going to... Don't save we are going to open paint.net and there's a little color palette down here you can close that out because we're not going to be using that um, but we are going to be using these three well history is kind of iffy okay so first what we're going to do is you're going to obtain two pictures uh... the first is a delta uh, the first one uh, is the um, picture that you want to use um, so i chose a delta airlines a320 sitting on the ramp at salt lake city and you're going to obtain the Microsoft Flight Simulator 10 logo. Um, this is for Flight Simulator X. I wouldn't know how to. I don't know if it's the same or if it's different for um, FS9 or excuse me FS2004. I don't know. But um, if it is, feel free to follow this and uh, just modif modify your process as necessary. So first, um, what you're going to do is you're going to file, open. And you're going to open the um, image that you have. You're going to go to Image, Resize, unselect, ma Deselect Maintain Aspect Ratio, Height, and make that 602. Okay. Click OK. It'll resize it. And it'll blow it a little out of proportion. It's not bad, though. Now what we're going to do is File, Open Again. And this time you're going to select the logo. And it'll open this. Now we don't need, really need to mess with this. This is what well, this image is pretty much done. We are pretty much done with this image, but we do need to go over here, and we need to m make a modification. And that is to remove the white background. So first, what we're going to do is go to. I'm sorry, that was my dad flushing the toilet. Um, so if you heard that, I'm sorry. Um, so first, what we're going to do is go to Magic Wand, and we're going to move the tolerance to 21 percent. Now you can fiddle around with this as you like, but I just haven't used 21 and we're going to click anywhere in the white space up here click it'll turn this pretty much this entire area uh, pale blue and I just moved the tools outside of the um, recording area it's not gone I just moved it um, so it's going to turn this pretty, pretty much all of this a pale blue except for um, the space inside the A, the O's and the G and, and now what we're going to do is hit delete and it just deletes the background. It does not delete anything else. And now remember what I said about the O's, the G's, and the A? Alright, so the O, delete, A, click, delete, G, click, delete, O, click, delete, and O, click, delete. This is pretty much done. Now, image, resize by percentage this time, and click 20. That'll move that down, and now we can do a rectangle select, and you select the part that has the FSX logo. Now you're going to go up here to copy, and we're going to go back here. Now we're going to, I believe, edit, yes, edit, paste into new layer. That'll copy the flight simulator logo, and you can stick it anywhere here. And this is pretty much how you would do it. Um, feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, all that. And um, that's pretty much it. Now you can go up to File, Save As. Oh, and um, I forgot to say something. Uh, you do want to save it as a .bmp as DLG Splash .bmp. And yes, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it'll automatically go to Auto Detect. You want to go to 24-bit. This will allow you to open it and for FSX to read it. And down here you see the Microsoft Flight Simulator 10, Delta, click OK. And you'll have to flatten it. Click Flatten, and this is now save. So close, close, don't save, because you might be using that logo again. File, open, and the DLG splice that you just created. Hello, and you, there's no, there's just history open image. You can't select this, you can't select anything.
And then you can move around. The, oddly, you can move this around, though. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, hopefully this helped you. Um, if it didn't, uh, I'm sorry, I guess I probably could have done better. Um, hope to see you again, and have a nice day.